So today we're going to start on the uh, curtain for the front. And for that, I purchased a product called Sailrite. It's a curtain track. And today I'm going to show you how that is installed. Um, the first thing that you do is you mark along the top and bottom where your track is going to be. And those two lines are parallel. So the distance from here to here is the same on both ends and in the middle. And so we've got a nice straight line that we're going to use to put our track. The track is an aluminum track and the width of my track is about 53 inches. The track is 48 so I'm going to have to use two pieces on top and on the bottom. But what you would do is mount it up here like this and then there is a uh, snap that goes onto the material with some uh, rail snaps and everything slides into the track and then you can slide the curtain open and closed. So let me show you how we're going to install that. So I space my rail. It's going to be two inches from the top edge of the window frame and I struck a line. On the end I made a mark. That'll be the end of the track. They recommend coming over one inch and that is where the uh, the rail track snap is going to be. Those fasten to the wall and then your track snaps into place. So the distance from here to the wall is the same on both sides, top and bottom. So I know that I have the right length and I also have from the top to the bottom a uh, parallel line uh, marking the, the length on that also. So the track is an aluminum track and uh, slides go right in here. These are the snap parts that will mount onto the wall just like so and the track snaps into that. Then on the material itself there is a button snap. This gets sewn or laminated onto the material. Then there are some button snaps that slip over top of that. And those fasten into the track. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and install one of our snap mounts. And it goes from this edge, one inch over from the edge of my track, and centered on that line. I'm using number six by three quarter flathead screws. If I can get it in. Just like that. I'll do it on both sides and then I'll put two in the middle and then we'll put one more in the middle of those. So let me uh, go ahead and put one down at the bottom. And because the track is going to be split in two on the end of our track, I want to install one on each side of my mark. That way I know that the uh, track is held in place fairly well and we'll probably come over a half inch from the edge on that. this side boom just like that and then we'll do the same on the bottom and then we will uh, 
between the two right here, between this one and this one, we'll also install one more. And that will give us enough room for our track. So let me go ahead and get those installed and show you what that looks like. And then we'll uh, cut our track. So our track mounts are in place and evenly spaced. And now we can cut our track to go ahead and fit. And then we can mount, uh, start on our curtains. So let's go ahead and cut our track and uh, just kind of test it and make sure everything is the right length. So I'll clamp my track on a uh, piece of board, a couple of clamps. I've got my mark where I want to cut and which side I need to cut on. So we'll go ahead and slowly make a cut. Just like so. And then we can file that up just a hair and we're good. So here are my finished pieces. I have four that I'm going to use for the front window and I have four pieces left over that I can uh, do one more window. So I don't have the track totally snapped in place because I need to still do some other things but I wanted to make sure that we're uh, pretty good here in the center and that's how it's going to set just like so and those will just snap into place holds the track and your curtain will slide along this edge so I think that's gonna that's gonna work pretty good so I have the four pieces cut next is the material so for the curtain what I'm going to use is a uh, it's called an Eclipse. It's a blackout panel. Purchased this at uh, Walmart for about 10 bucks. It is one piece. This is a 42 by 84 and uh, very nice heavy material. It looks uh, like this once it's unrolled. It's got the nice white backing. And uh, this was a test piece to see how well it was going to turn out and unbelievably heck of a lot better than uh, sewing I'll have to say that so what I do is I'll take my curtain and I'll spread it out I'm gonna go ahead and iron it and then I'll set it on the floor mark out my uh, dimension that I need for my curtain and then come back and begin working on the seams and for the seams what I'm using is uh, is just a heat bond it's a glue tape adhesive it's an iron-on so you're gonna set your piece of material down, put your heat bond on there, fold your material over it, iron it on, and that stuff is, that stuff's on there. And uh, once it's all cool, it's really limber and soft, and that's going to work out just great for the front. Once all the adhesive is on, then uh, I'll take that button snap tape, and I'll also put adhesive on it, iron it on so it's on there nice and solid and then uh, put the snaps on and we're ready to slide it into the track. So with any luck we should uh, have something hanging here before too long. So let me go ahead and pull this out of the package. We'll get it ironed out, cut the pattern and uh, begin work. Alright so we have it ironed out pretty well and uh, next is to lay it out on the floor Go ahead and mark our lines and cut. So this is pretty easy material to cut. It's almost like a rubber backing, but um, works really good. So this is going to turn out fairly well, I think. Better than the last ones. Okay, hang on there. So we're going to use a simple formula to figure out how long and how wide we need to make our curtain. So we have a track that's on the wall and so we've measured the track so we have track length plus the uh, the hem how much of the hem we want some use half inch on each side some use one inch in my case I'm going to use one inch so track length plus the hem length and then it's multiplied by a factor of 1.2 this is uh, usually used in nautical so I'll sailboats and power boats and such uh, but it'll work in our application because we're building somewhat of a land yacht so that works track length plus hem length times 1.25 
and we'll divide that by two because we're going to have two curtains for that window. So my track length is 54 inches. There's 53 inches, sorry. So my track length is 53 inches and we're going to add four inches for the hem length. Four inches because there's two curtains and I'm going to have one inch hem on each side. So that's one inch, one inch, and then one inch and one inch. So 53 plus 4, we're going to multiply that by 1.25 and then we'll divide that by 2 and that'll tell me what the length of each side is going to have to be. So 53 and 4 gives me 57. Multiply that by 1.25. That equals 71.25 uh, I think and then we will divide that by 2 and that's going to give me about 36 or 35 and 5 eighths so we'll just round that up and we'll call each side 36 inches and that'll be a rectangle 36 inches now for the height, okay, so that's the length. For the height, the formula for that is we take the measurement from our window, so we had our window, and then we had our track length up here, track down here, and we're going to measure from center line to center line. And that height was 26 and 7 eighths which is about 8.75 and we are going to add 2 inches and that will give us some hem room and then we'll take that and we'll add approximately 3 inches that will give us our overlap at the top and the bottom and we'll be able to put on our our button tape and still have a little bit of room left at the bottom so when all that is said and done, 26 and 7 eighths plus 2 plus 3, that gives us a total of about 31 and 7 eighths inches, and we always round up, so 32 inches. So my curtain that I'm going to make, or the pattern that I'm going to cut out, is going to be 36 inches long, or wide, by 32 inches high and that's before we put any of the hems on so that's a that's an easy formula uh, if you're gonna make some curtains using this track and you should have plenty left over so when the curtains are open you get this nice accordion effect and when they're closed they're not taut or tight and they're not so loose that they look kinda odd but they'll have a nice little wave to it and uh, look very nice so that's what we're gonna use and I've got the material all ironed out, so we're going to lay it on the floor, mark out our dimension, and go ahead and cut those. I need two of them at 36 by 32, and then we can begin hemming. All right, so we have our piece cut, and I have my edge marked out where I'm going to put my hem, and I have my heat bond tape, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of pull this out, tear off a little piece, and then set this in place. Not right up against the line, but uh, probably about a sixteenth from the edge. Don't stretch it. And we'll call that good. Then we'll take our iron and Go ahead and put that on the edge right there, just like so. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to iron it so to speak you want to just set it on there and press it for a few seconds and 
and that will melt that glue that's on that strip into place. Just like so. So once the curtains are made, all the hems are done, next comes the uh, snap track here that we would use. Now, I purchased the snap track from Sailrite, but what I didn't like is that the snaps didn't line up evenly as you uh, installed them. They uh, ended up being kind of off-centered. by several inches and so what you want to do is you want to try to make those parallel so when you fold your curtains up then they've got that nice accordion effect so I ended up cutting a strip of uh, material folding in half using the adhesive and then purchased my own snaps and made my own snap tape and it works So what you want to do once you install these is make sure that, let's see, where's my tape, that the center line to your snaps is the same as the track. So when it hangs up there, it's not too tight and it's not sagging or anything. So with that, we are done with making the two panels. I've got the snap track on both sides. Now we're ready to install <coughs> the uh, track clips and then put the track on. So these are the glides, the little snap glides, and they go over the snaps and then they will go into the track just like this. And so the curtain will slide back and forth in the track. And they are fairly simple to install. We just put those over our buttons and snap them right on. That's a good sound. <laughs> nice and tight. Just like so. And then the next step would be to install the, the track on here. Now there's also a Another piece that will go onto the track, these are the, the uh, track ends. They have a little loop on it, and so they'll go on the end just like so, and then uh, the curtain butts up against, up against here, and then you would uh, sew, or I've got some uh, safety kind of safety kind of pins and then you'll tie that on the end so when you go to open your curtain it doesn't pull it all the way open. So let's uh, install these ends on our rods and then we can install our track and shoot we're about ready to start hanging some curtains. So we have our snaps in place we've got our little track snaps going on and then we've got our track is in place and we also have sewn it here at the end so the curtain, when you pull the curtain closed, it doesn't uh, slide off and open up at the ends. So with that, both of them are done and now we are ready to install them in the trailer. So let's do it. install this. So we're going to go ahead and slide these on. Like so.
we have our mark here in the center and basically we're just going to snap these right into place. We are. We have our curtains installed. Voila, just like so. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yep. And if we uh, want to open it, take slide them on just like so. set of uh, velcro pieces that'll slip in here and hold that curtain together just like that open nice so that turned out very well I do like that we could probably put a couple of stops here so we can looks good okay that's the sail right and this serves its purpose very well sliding back and forth on here yep I like that and I like the uh, the accordion effect that it gives so I may or may not do the same with the sides I probably will because to tell you the truth I really hate these curtains <laughs> they uh, although they they work they just don't look look as good so I might rethink that and uh, redo that but that turned out very well so I'm happy with it and uh, I think we'll call that one a wrap sweet let's set the table up and see what that looks like so there we are table set up curtains just barely come down to the table yes I think that looks great. Color is, color is good. 
I think that's why I dislike these so much is the uh, the color is just too dark doesn't even go with doesn't really go with anything so off to the uh, drawing board measure curtains for this and these two windows on the side and we will do the same as we did on the front and I may or may not keep the balance we shall see I think those are probably going to be a little too small once the uh, curtains are inside but we'll see we'll see I might have to remake some balances but anyway yeah I'm pretty pretty happy with that let me open that one more time and uh, get a look of it and there they are open so I think once the uh, once the uh, little curtain ties are on each side, that'll give it a little bit better appearance and uh, hold that thing open. So I think it looks good overall. I am pretty happy with it. That is the curtain track from Sailrite. And I'll uh, put a description down below and a link to their website so you can check it out. But uh, easy install. If you had somebody make the curtains for you, it's even better. <laughs> but all in all nice setup and it works perfect